My name is Link Martin. I'm the director of Temple University Harrisburg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this reopening of our first floor. Um, part of the evolution of Temple in Harrisburg, we've reconfigured ourselves to better meet the learning needs of our students and to prepare for expansion in a variety of programs over the next few years. And we're lucky today, we have several folks here that are going to share some thoughts with you and uh, celebrate this reopening of our facility. So again, welcome, I appreciate you coming out. Um, we do have some time limits, so we're gonna move it along. Um, everything doesn't wait for us in the world, unfortunately. Higher education sometimes has to accommodate the legislative process and the political process, so we'll try to do that. Um, I'm very happy to introduce Dr. Vicki Lewis McGarvey, who's the Vice Provost for University College, and University College is part of the university structure that governs the branch campuses and many other programs. Uh, Dr. McGarvey has a, been a longtime supporter of the programs out here in Harrisburg, and uh, including managing uh, a variety of units within the university, she is the acting director of the Ambler campus. So she has a lot of experience in the physical maintenance of a campus and all that entails. I'd like to introduce Dr. McGarvey. Thank you. So today I have the distinct pleasure of introducing President Englert, who after 40 years of service at Temple was appointed uh, our president in July of 2016. And I can't think of anyone better to lead our university. His latest position caps an extraordinary career um, that's included 16 different leadership roles at Temple. We don't have time, so I won't name all of them. But he's been the provost, the interim senior vice president for academic affairs, dean of the College of Education, vice president for administration, interim athletic director, and the chancellor. So those, those, those are just a few. Um, and that's all pretty impressive. But I left out his most important role, and that is as a professor. And I had the pleasure of co-teaching with Dr. Englert in the College of Education. And I think he'll tell you that teaching is the most important thing that any of us do here at Temple. So throughout his service at Temple, he's been a staunch advocate of our mission of diversity, of access, and of excellence. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Dr. Englert, someone I'm proud to call a mentor and a friend. Thank you very much, and it's, uh, it's uh, truly an honor to be here uh, at our Harrisburg uh, campus. Uh, Temple Harrisburg is, is really one of the gems in, uh, in the crown of Temple University, and I've had the great privilege of being here uh, uh, many times, uh, though not for the past couple of years, and so I'm very, very impressed uh, with the renovations and the, the new look of uh, Temple Harrisburg. Um, Temple classes, have been offered in Harrisburg even for longer than I've been at Temple, uh, for some 60 years. And uh, I think that's an impressive uh, mark on our state capital. Um, moved to the current location, I believe, in the year 2000. And Temple Harrisburg is really an integral part of Temple's central mission. It's also an integral part of Temple's great momentum. Let me talk about mission first. Um, Dr. McGarvey talked a little bit about mission. Uh, for me, the values that Temple stands for, that really tells me why I love Temple and why I've been at Temple for 40 years. Uh, we talk about access. We talk about affordability. We talk about not just access, but success. Student success is extremely important to us. We talk about diversity. We talk about excellence, and we also talk about financial responsibility. Those are all core values that go back to our very founding and our founder who wanted to create an institution that served working people, working men and women, uh, back in the Gilded Age when times were really challenging for uh, the working people. Temple Harrisburg represents those kinds of values. It's in our DNA, it's in the DNA of Temple Harrisburg. Temple also is experiencing great momentum right now. We have the largest 
most talented freshman class in our history, 5,100 students. Uh, we have more applications for those spots than ever before, 34,500 and change. And uh, we now top 39,000, in fact, over 39,500, you might as well round it at 40,000, uh, number of students that we serve, um, all central to our mission. We also have a stellar research record, and our research continues to grow. We are now in the top tier of all research institutions in the nation, top tier. Uh, only five institutions in Pennsylvania uh, are part of that top tier, and we are one of them. Uh, we're proud of our research accomplishments. Um, there are so many, I'm not going to talk about all of them. The one that most impressed me most recently was uh, the Google Citations uh, ranking. Uh, there's a group in, uh, in uh, Spain, I think they're called Cybermetric, something like that. And they went and did a very thoughtful, thorough analysis of citations through Google Scholar. In other words, who do the scholars around the world look to for the great research? And then they ranked all the institutions. Temple University ranked number 18, 18 in the world, head of Princeton, they're behind us. Uh, Penn, which is a great institution, is uh, behind us, uh, and, and many others are behind us. 18 in the world. What that tells me is we have outstanding faculty. We have outstanding faculty here at the, uh, at the Harrisburg, uh, Temple Harrisburg. We have outstanding faculty throughout Temple University, and they really are the bedrock of everything that we do. So we are very, very proud, and we have all kinds of renovations on our main campus. Please, if you have a chance, come visit and uh, look at what truly is an amazing uh, um, set of facilities and landscape. Similarly, Harrisburg shares in this momentum. Uh, I love the capital semester. Uh, the capital semester, I think, is just an outstanding opportunity for our undergraduates to get experience uh, with policymakers and in governmental affairs. Um, our MSW program uh, is the largest um, in this entire region and uh, really makes a difference uh, for this region. Um, thousands receive all kinds of opportunities th of training through the professional development programs here. So there's great momentum here, sharing in Temple's overall uh, momentum and contributing to it. Uh, and of course, these new facilities. Uh, wonderful new facilities. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to find my way in. I would have bumped into the uh, glass out there uh, trying to get into the uh, facility because I remember how it was. This is truly a, a uh, really game-changing uh, transformative facility. So overall, uh, Harrisburg really does have that reflect the unique blend of uh, access and success and excellence that really makes Temple University and makes us all proud to be part of Temple University. Uh, all of us are very proud of Temple University. We're pr very proud of your faculty, of your students, of your staff, administrators, everyone. Um, you make us very proud. Um, you showcase Temple University here in one of the most important uh, places that could be right across from the Capitol. Uh, you represent us well. I want to thank you for everything you do for all of us. Uh, thank you for everything you do to make Temple great. Thanks. Thank you, President Engler. Um, next, we'd like to have uh, the Dean of the School of Media and Communications, David Boardman, come up. Uh, it's a large school within the university. It serves over 3,000 students. Uh, he's been with the school for three or four years now and uh, has a long history of working in a variety of settings that has helped him understand what the mission of our university is. And we were just chatting earlier about making sure that we provide access to education for those who need it. And um, we're looking forward to that school expanding its reach in this part of the state. So Dean Boardman.
Thank you, Link, and uh, good afternoon. Thanks to all of you for being here. This is actually my very first visit to the city of Harrisburg, uh, believe it or not. I'm certainly inspired by the, the beauty of this facility, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of the city. Many years ago, I was a political reporter uh, in Washington, state's capital of Olympia, and uh, ultimately became the editor-in-chief of the newspaper in Seattle. I'm always thrilled to visit centers of state government because I think they get far too little media attention for all the power that they wield over people's lives. And that's just one of the reasons I'm just delighted that my school, the School of Media and Communication, will launch a new program in the fall uh, leading the charge of the university's efforts to grow undergraduate population here. Our new offering is designed as an entry point for freshmen who will then move to the main campus in their second year. Um, this is a first for Harrisburg. They'll actually apply to and be admitted directly to the School of Media and Communication and start to take classes in our curriculum, right, uh, beginning in their freshman year. They'll get a great foundation in that freshman year of the role of media, in society, how it works, its impact. And then as they move to main campus, they'll move into more major specific tracks. Um, at our school, our students pursue interests in journalism, broadcasting, advertising, public relations, music business and production, video gaming, political advocacy, and more. We have one of the largest, most comprehensive schools of media and communication in the country a superb facility that includes world-class scholars and highly accomplished practitioners. The result is a student body that is really achieving amazing things. Over the past year, for example, our advertising students beat out more than 200 other teams from colleges around the country in a national competition, taking first place for the second year in a row. Our journalism and production students dominated both the regional College Emmy Awards and the Keystone Press Awards, winning more than twice as many as that little school over in Happy Valley, I'm happy to say. <laughs> and our capstone journalism project, which is called Philadelphia Neighborhoods, it's a really remarkable project in which our senior journalism students cover the largely undercovered neighborhoods of North and West Philadelphia. That was named by the leading industry trade magazine, editor and publisher, as the best college news website in America. So that's what our students are doing. Our alumni go on to a wide range of careers in journalism, in business, in entertainment, in academia, and yes, in government. Among our alums are the executive producer of the CBS Evening News, a co-host of the Today Show, a two-time Pulitzer Prize winning reporter for the Washington Post, the head of global marketing for MasterCard, and the famous songwriter musician from my era, John Oates of Hall and & Oates, and another from my kids' era, Diplo. So we're looking forward to bringing that sort of excellence here to the Harrisburg campus in the School of Media and Communication. On behalf of the school, I'm proud to say we look forward to growing our collaboration with our colleagues here in Harrisburg and with all of you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Dean Borman. Uh, we have a slight agenda change. Representative Patty Kim uh, let us know she cannot leave the Hill. They're going to be voting on some things. So, uh, unfortunately, she could not join us. She uh, expressed her support and interest in Temple Harrisburg. She's been uh, involved with us for a number of years. And I say, unfortunately, she has to go vote or something like that. So I guess that's <laughs> what she needs to do. Uh, I would like to ask Nate Heater to come up from Senator Toomey's office. He has something for President Engler. Good afternoon. It is a privilege to be here on behalf of Senator Toomey today. Um, and I am here to present a certificate in recognition of this grand opening and ribbon cutting. And I'd just like to say on behalf of the Senator um, that we're deeply grateful for everything Temple does in Pennsylvania and today, particularly here in Harrisburg. Thank you very much, Nate. And, and please convey to the Senator our great gratitude for this very, very uh, gracious uh, offering. And also to the Senator for everything 
that is done for Temple University and for public higher education. Uh, the Senate and the House are just terrific, and, and uh, we pride ourselves on being state-related and a public university. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nate. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce our mayor of Harrisburg, Eric Pappenfuss. He's been the mayor since uh, January 2014. And uh, before that, he manages and continues to own the Midtown Scholar Bookstore, which is an excellent place. A lot of our students go and browse there and look for cheaper books than uh, perhaps a Temple Bookstore, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever works. So again, I'd like to, uh, we've had a variety of conversations, and the mayor has uh, been very interested in the progress we've made here at Temple Harrisburg. So, Mayor Pat Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thanks very, very much. First of all, I want to say thank you to Temple University for your continuing commitment to Harrisburg. Uh, as referenced, it goes back decades, but you kept, keep getting more involved in the community, expanding, uh, and, and better every year. It's really uh, remarkable to see. We appreciate the leadership and the confidence. Uh, look around you, because this new Student Learning Center is, it really embodies the values that have already been, been stated at the core of Temple's mission. Those of community and diversity and, and the, the, an open space where ideas can be exchanged. We have almost 100 people right now uh, gathered here in the room. I was counting, and, uh, and it's, not even, it's not even at capacity. The old space, uh, as some of you may remember, now I have to defend it a little bit because it was filled with books, but it was not, uh, it was not, very, it was not very inviting, and, and this clearly is. And, uh, and, and I think it sets an entire uh, new tone and a new presence right here in Strawberry Square in the heart of our, our downtown. I want to highlight something which has already been said, something that I find remarkable about Temple's commitment to Harrisburg. I love the concept of being able to come here for your freshman year and then after adjusting, uh, transfer to the, to the main campus. That's, that's, that's an incredible opportunity, not only for uh, the residents of Harrisburg, but for all those in central Pennsylvania. It's less expensive to come here for the first year, so it's more affordable. Uh, it's a little less daunting. Uh, you can do it a little closer to home and your support networks and your group, and it's a great way to transition uh, into the, 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 the larger main campus in a four-year degree. So thank you for that commitment. That program is thriving, and I think we'll continue to really expand and define what's going on here at, uh, at Temple. I also want to thank you for your commitment to the community here in Harrisburg. As many of you know, uh, there is a strong commitment to our wonderful uh, Capital Area School for the Arts, CASA. Do we have any students or alums in the back? Anyone here from CASA? Well, hundreds of students go to CASA on a daily basis here in Strawberry Square, and they're able to use the facilities here and get a little bit of that flavor of, uh, of a college experience while, uh, while still in high school. And that's something that you don't have to do, but you do because you're committed to the community. You're also committed to the World Affairs Council, which is constantly providing programs for adults and youth in our region, bringing in guest speakers. You offer them uh, office space. You offer office space to the African American Chamber, which is out there advocating for minority and women-owned businesses. All this you do right here um, as a part of your mission and your commitment to Harrisburg. And I want to make some news this morning. Uh, we are very excited that the city of Harrisburg <coughs> is partnering with Temple to bring uh, basically a Cure Violence Task Force and Operation Ceasefire here to Harrisburg, modeled on what Temple has already spearheaded and developed in Philadelphia. The concept is to put violence interrupters well-trained uh, on the streets of Harrisburg to help deal with, with what can sometimes be an overwhelming uh, rash of, uh, of gun and violence uh, on our streets. To have community members out there seeking peaceful means of dealing with controversy, I think is going to make a big difference here, as it has in Philadelphia. And Temple has really led the charge there and has partnered with us to bring it here. In fact, tomorrow, there will be a funding request going into the Stabler Foundation, which is going to help fund this program here in Harrisburg. So, so thank you to Temple for taking the lead in that. And we're going to make a real difference here and have safer streets. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your commitment uh, to the city. And thank you for continuing to invest 
in the heart of Harrisburg. Uh, if you haven't uh, already sensed the spirit of optimism and economic development that's all around you in this city, it is really remarkable. The investment here uh, mirrors investments that are being made throughout Strawberry Square, throughout downtown, throughout this new transportation district, and throughout the city. Uh, uh, so thank you for having confidence in us, and thank you for being a part of Harrisburg's movement towards the future. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to introduce Brad Jones, who's the President and CEO of Harristown Enterprises, our landlord, our partner. Um, as Dick mentioned, we moved into Strawberry Square in July of 2000, which uh, Brad apparently thought that this was a growing opportunity, so he left employment with the state and came to Harristown at the same time, just because Temple moved into Strawberry Square. <laughs> at least. That's how I remember. But, uh, I'd like to introduce Brad. Has a few words. Well, thank you, Link, and, and thank you to all our, our friends here at Temple. Uh, Link uh, and I have uh, been working together here uh, since I've been here for 15 years, and uh, we also have many partnerships and and relationships with lots of different folks here at Temple. I want to thank Vicky, who's always uh, willing to come up and share her time here in Harrisburg. And then uh, Linda Frazier, who has been our contact here with as a landlord-tenant relationship for many years. And Linda has suffered through the fact that there are many of us at Harristown who are Penn State fans, uh, like my predecessor, Russ Ford, who was an insufferable Penn State fan. And I'm I think a little less rabid than he was, but and Linda was nice enough not to rub it in last year when Temple trounced us at Penn State. Uh, and this year I just called her the weekend before and I said, you guys are probably gonna win. So um, <laughs> fortunately we managed to pull it out, but it was tough. And Linda was uh, very involved in the entire project here, as well as Link and his team here at Harrisburg. And I think you see the results, a uh, uh, very delightful uh, result here. You know, this is a 35,000 square foot campus here, and it's poised right at the foot of the Capitol, but it's also poised right at the foot of the train station. So this gives us a kind of a unique link here with this campus here that, you know, that has the kind of connectivity, the kind of transit-oriented development, the kind of potential for economic development and growth in this downtown that we see in Philadelphia where you get off the train and you're at the campus. Here you get off the train and you're at the campus. And, you know, we're really excited by the fact that, you know, we think this partnership with the freshman program and with the capital semester and the new programs that the dean mentioned um, coming here, you know, you have said you had, uh, I think it was 34,000 um, applicants and um, only room for about 5,000. So, you know, there's probably, what do you think, Mayor, and room for another sure. five or 10,000 here. Yeah. So we're excited for maybe, a, you know, a, a freshman, sophomore, or maybe even someday maybe a full four-year program here. So I, I also want to uh, point out that uh, the folks, the good folks from Pyramid Construction uh, did, the, did the construction on this, uh, working very closely with my colleague, Sharon Hassinger, who managed that project for us with Pyramid, as well as by design, the architect here, uh, in a nice partnership. And, and then the other thing I want to point out, uh, I want to give a shout out to the mayor who has uh, done a tremendous job of helping bring this city back from uh, you know some pretty tough financial times. Uh, there are great things happening all over the city, not just here in the downtown, but it's my job as a downtown developer to brag a little bit about the downtown, and so I'm going to um, we've been working hard to prepare this, this downtown campus for a bigger temple, for a, another day when there'll be even more students here. And this project here is just one example of that. But just in the last two years, we're just finishing up on about $33 million worth of redevelopment into the downtown. We just finished that up. We've added another almost 1,000 new employees across the hall here with the Commonwealth Tower from the state lease. Uh, we've added new uh, private employers like RGS Associates, like Sellers Dorsey, which is a Philadelphia-related consulting firm. We've also added our biggest retail deal in the entire 40-year history of Harristown. Um, thanks to Mr. West and the good work he does with Harristown here, uh, we landed a 14,000 square foot Rite Aid that will be right in Strawberry Square, inside entrance. It's under construction right now and will be available for all those new Temple students. So. 
And in addition to that, right on top of that Rite Aid is a 22 apartments that are, uh, of which 18 are of, of which are already leased. We call them the flats at Strawberry Square. And we've got another 30 apartments down the street that have just been built uh, for, again, students, faculty, for other young professionals, um, frankly, folks who just get tired of cutting the yard and uh, taking care of the house. Come on down. We got a place for you. So in addition to that, we're seeing continued growth in retailers and restaurants. We added a new Hallmark store, a couple of fashion retail outlets in the downtown and as the mayor's been so busy out doing ribbon cuttings he's got new restaurants to open practically every week uh it's it's overwhelming and it's very exciting and you know one of the we're, we're going to be opening a place called the fresa bistro here in strawberry square very shortly you know when you talk about temple and you know economic development you know the term we use in a lot of economic development is eds beds and meds educational corridor you know more residential medical you know facilities as well and you see that very strongly playing out in in philadelphia and we're hoping to continue to see that kind of growth here with temple as our one of our educational partner uh here in the economic development of downtown a lot of exciting things going on here we can't wait to see this space get used for all kinds of different events for the capital semester for the freshman program for the existing programs maybe uh, other events for the community so we welcome your you uh, all here with the new space and we're excited to continue to be your partner and your landlord thank you